So I'm going to talk about a lot of local game stores. This might be a little bit of a tough topic to talk about uh, going belly up in Houston. So we have, um, we've been looking at game stores because we're trying to find a game store that is safe and affordable and just overall generally a good game store for my girlfriend's nephew to play Yu-Gi-Oh at. So we probably looked over 10 or 12 different game stores and in the process of looking at these game stores, we noticed some of them bankrupt, right? Cause you have to call them and, and then you, have to, you hope that they pick up their phone and you hope, you know, I mean, there's a lot of hope, hopium, copium going on. And the game stores, well, we still haven't, we found one that's close to him. It seems like it's a good group of players, but they're, it's a brand new game store. Um, we found ones that were more competitive, but the general takeaway is that the game stores are not doing really well during the recession. I think it is a Joe Biden recession, so I'll call it for what it is. And the reason they're not doing well is because of margins. Now, I owned a game store for almost six, seven years on and off, and I can tell you the margins on game stores should always be 40%, right? So if you buy an item, if you buy an item for a um, hundred dollars, you hope to sell it for a hundred forty dollars. If you buy an item for fifty dollars, you're hoping to sell it for seventy dollars, right? You, you want a forty percent margin and cushion. Now that cushion has basically been demolished in TCG players to nothing. In fact, right now it's cheaper to buy from Amazon than it is to buy from a distributor on many many products. In fact, most of the Wizard of Coast products are cheaper on Amazon when they're on sale than from buying from your distributor as a card shop owner, right? The other part that I really want to kind of emphasize on and really focus that you might not know about owning a game store is employees, employee bonuses for Christmas. Like, you know, a lot of um, what drives a good business is having really good employees, which I was never able to do but I had very costly employees. Employees are a expensive, expensive part of the business. Uh, now in Card Kingdom, they, they're forming unions, which makes it more expensive and Card Kingdom is actually moving and that's why their buy list has a kind of a problem now. Um, people are like, oh, the buy list, no, 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 there, there's a problem with it because they have to A, hire new employees and B, because they, they're not going to hire the union ones. Essentially what they've decided is they don't want to do union. So a lot of people from who formed the union were let go. Now they can spin it any way they want. They were essentially not no longer working in Card Kingdom. Okay, that's basically that. And there's many unions in New York and there's many unions starting in these card, these larger card game shops are forming unions. So these employees are now wanting more money um, and again, I, the most expensive part of any business is employees. And if your employees union on you, you're aft, man. Uh, you're, you're a card shop. Um, your, mar your margins are just almost non, I mean, your overhead is just skyrocketed to the moon. Now, this is, I think, w one, one of the reasons that these game stores are going out of business. A, the margins are getting tighter. And B, the employees have to make more. And because if they don't make more of inflation, they're making less. So on one hand, you have to pay your employees more because they deserve it. And I think to live in today's society with gas prices, heating prices, electricity prices, cell phone prices, right? Um, yeah, I just actually got a new cell phone from my dad and he picked the like the the worst Apple uh, I I was a uh, iPhone 15 model, still $840 for the most basic model phone. And then um, I put my girlfriend on my plan, so my mom's always been on my plan. And and then we added Disney Plus. Like the thing is like the thing is really expensive as hell, man. And uh, that's just a phone bill. This is a cell phone bill. Uh, and then you got the internet bill, you got the heating bill, you got you got a lot of things that like people need to pay for and these employees do need to be paid more to live um, a good life. And you want your employees to live a good life because you want them to treat your customers right and if they're upset, they're upset, right? Uh, the other part I really want to talk about in, in why these game stores are having trouble right now is the, the customer. The customer is trained by many people online to just buy from the online people. 
I've had so many customers buy from somebody online to open the product in my store. You know, that's, um, it is what it is, right? And, and the reason I don't do gameplay or any of it, it's so interesting. Somebody can pay uh, Patreon for $10, $15, $15 a month to somebody online they've never met that they don't have a community with that will never give them one second of their day and they wouldn't pay, they wouldn't even spend that money. I'm not saying give the money, I'm saying spend that money at their local game store that they hang out for eight hours every weekend. You know, it, it's very frustrating and it's very, mm. but you know, a good game store will have, you know, I, it's not for me, you know, it's not for me anymore, it makes me upset, but a good game store will encourage that behavior, I guess, to make you know more people, the more people, the better. So that's why I think game stores are going belly up. I think it is a pandemic of game stores and I don't think many of them will, you know, again, the good ones will last because they have the player base. They have, you know, I went to some really great game stores with the uh, girlfriend's nephew and I can see, wow, they're thriving. They're doing, they're crushing it. Good on them, right? And then I went to ones where it's, you know, are basically bankrupt and it's like, okay, hmm. they tried. It wasn't that they didn't try, they did try. Hi guys.